And I see this all the time where you create stacked bar charts and then you have 12 or 13 different categories. And if you're not careful, especially with your colorization of your category selection, you end up actually with repeated categories. And so you can see here that I have a blue uh, rectangle representing kitchen appliances, but I also have a blue rectangle representing agriculture. And there's no way for me to figure out which blue rectangle here is on the bottom, if that's agriculture or kitchen appliances, versus which blue's on the top here. And so whenever you're making a stacked bar chart, which I would probably just recommend not making a stacked bar chart because it makes inferences from us, uh, yeah, it makes inferences anything besides the bottom most bar almost impossible. If I want to compare the heights of these orange bars to each other, I have to squint and draw a lot of parallel lines in my head to say, okay, this orange bar, that's about, you know, 10 in height. This orange bar, I think that's about 10 in height. This orange bar is about 10 in height. And I keep going all the way down. I'm like, is this orange bar, is it changing? with respect to our x-axis, and you have this question for every single category. And I hope you're thinking, well, maybe, maybe it's because we don't want a stacked bar chart at all. 